Hello guys and welcome back to our highlights from our game against Tiverton Town. Looking at both sides, Franco recognised this could be a very tasty clash, with new management from Tiverton seeing the side pour some good results, such as the recent draw against Walton and Hersham last week. But recently, results haven't favoured Gospel, with late goals securing draws and losses. But it was Tiverton Town with the first big chance. A good run from Thompson allowed for the attacker to get a shot on goal by drilling it straight into Toby Stewart. Gosport came closer to breaking the deadlock with a short skim in the crossbar. Barca managed to play a wonderful ball into the box, falling to the head of Charlie Vasma. The defender got a good connection with the ball, which saw the ball skim the crossbar. Despite the good chance, the away team would get the opener. A mistake at the back allowed for Dungan to intercept the ball. A free ball separated Garside from Jordan, allowing him to drive a shot into the bottom corner to make it 1-0 to Tiverton. Following the goal, Stewart would be needed again to deny the second chance from Tiverton. Thompson fired a shot at range, forcing Stewart to dive, getting a hand to the ball and allowing the keeper to deflect the effort. Barca even had a couple of chances before the half concluded, both shots from distance, with one being fired over the crossbar and the other being dragged wide at the post, and the half concluded Gosport nil, Tiverton won. Unlike past games, Gosport didn't start the second half how they planned. Thompson in the Borough box played the ball into Salmon Yards out from goal. The attacker somehow missed the shot though, slicing it wide at the Borough post. Like the weather, the storm was brewing, and 10 minutes into the second half, Gosport found their equaliser. A Borough corner was poorly dealt with, with one of the Tiverton defenders playing the ball into Hollins, with the midfielder smashing a shot past Williams to get the equaliser in an absolute screamer. It was Thompson yet again who broke into the Borough box, dicing a shot towards the bottom corner, forcing Stewart to get down low and collect the ball, despite the ball nearly beating him going into the front post. WT Yakpan came close to opening his Borough goal account after a smart ball from Charlie Vasma played him in behind the Tiverton defence. A good touch allowed him to cushion the ball and the former Chelsea man finished the attack by Megan the keeper with the effort going just wide. From a similar position from where Holland scored, Scrimshaw was the next player to have a crack from that position. Driving a shot into the bottom corner, it forced a good save from Williams and the score stayed 1-1. Well, that was until the next Gosport corner. A well-worked corner allowed the ball to be delivered into Charlie Vasma. Heading backwards, the ball fell to fellow defender Harry Medway, who smashed it home to give us the lead for the first time in the game. Tiverton really should have put the teams on level terms with the next chance. Thompson causing trouble again so a ball curled into the Borough box, nearly finding a diving bath who narrowly missed the ball. Next came up the moment Gosport fans feared, additional time, and yet again the home fans had something to fear with a big opportunity coming from Bath. In the left hand channel Allen knuckleballed an effort into Bath who slotted the shot wide but nonetheless the flag went up for offside and the full time whistle shortly followed with a full time game concluding Gosport 2, Tiverton 1. A big three points collected and another top opposition defeated. Up next we travel to Beaconsfield on Tuesday night but final words from me, up the borough.